Hey everyone, welcome back to the data structure tutorial series. In last video, we talked about different types of arrays. And today, we dive into something super important that is array operations. Array are fundamental in programming, but what make them truly powerful are the operations we can perform on it. In this video, we will explore most common operations like insertion, deletion, traversal, searching and updating the arrays. By end of this video, you have clear understanding of array operations in different use cases of the application. Let's get started now. First, let's talk about array traversal. Traversal means accessing each element of the array, one at a time from starting to end. It's a one of the most basic operations you would perform on the array. Whether you are printing elements or performing a calculation on each one, traversal is way to go. Let's take an example. In this example, we loop through the array and print each element. It is super easy, right? Traversal is a key where we need to interact with every single item in the array. Next up, we have insertion. Inserting an element into an array means adding new data to a specific position. But there are catch. Arrays are usually to fix size. So if you insert in the middle, you would need to shift all elements after that position. Now let's take an example. In this example, we inserted 25 at index 2. Notice how elements after index 2 are shifted to the right. This is a common technique for inserting an array, but remember, it can get expensive if array is large. Now, let's move on to the deletion. Deletion an element from an array is straightforward, but just like with insertion, we need to shift element to fit the gap created by deleted element. Now, let's take an example. Here, we delete the element at index 2. Notice how all the elements after index 2 are shifted to the left. This is why deletion, especially from the middle of an array, can be time consuming if the array is large. Moving on, next is searching. Searching for an element in an array is pretty common in programming. There are two primary methods that is linear search and binary search used for array searching. For simplicity, let's focus on linear search where we scan the array elements by elements until we find the target. Let's take an example. Here we perform a array search for the number 30. If number found, we return its position. Otherwise, we display element not found. Linear search is simple but can be slow if array is large. Moving on, finally we have updating are sometimes called modifications. This means changing the value of an existing element in an array. It is one of the easiest operations in the array. Let's take an example. In this example, we updated the element at index 2 from 30 to 35. It is so simple, right? Updating is often done when you want to adjust values based on some logic or computations. So, to sum up, 
वी कवर द बेसिक ऑपरेशन ऑन द अरेज ट्रवर्सल इंसर्शन डिलीशन सर्चिंग एंड अपडेटिंग Each operations has its own significance and knowing how to perform these efficiently will make you a better programmer especially when dealing with a large data set Guys if you found this video helpful be sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorial like this and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss our upcoming videos where we will cover memory representation of array data structures see you in next video until then happy coding